Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to this lesson on pivot tables. I'm going to introduce them, explain a little bit about what they are and why we want to use them, and then in subsequent lectures we'll dive into actually using pivot tables in real world examples and explore all the different things you can do with them. So we have this data set from the case study in the previous lesson, and it's just a summary of the world's largest companies by revenue. And the idea here is maybe we'd like to say, do a count of how many oil and gas companies are in this list. And then what's the total revenue for all those oil and gas companies in this list? And then how many employees total as the oil and gas sector employee? So essentially we want to create some summary statistics about this data set that are more useful than just having just the raw data on its own. Because, you know, imagine this list is, or this data set is hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of rows of data then that's very hard to understand. But if we can summarize that down into a into categories and then summarize the data, aggregate the data by categories, so add it, add it all up or average it or count it for each of those new categories, and then we can understand that data and we can we can make decisions based off of it. So what I'd like to do here is just a quick example to show you how we might do this with formulas and then how much easier it is to do with pivot tables. And the example I'm going to do is we're going to count how many companies there are for each different industry, and then what the total revenue is for those companies for that industry as well. So for example, how many oil and gas companies there are. We've got the data, let's open this other tab here called formulas. And first of all, we need a, we need the unique list of all of the industries. Now I'm gonna go through all these formulas pretty quickly uh, because the point is to get to the pivot table, um, but you can uh, explore this and take a little longer if you wish to, to understand these ones. So we're going to just find out a this unique list. Then I'm going to copy that and just turn that into text values only so it's not going to mess up when we try and resort the data at all. And then we're going to do a, a sum if. So we're going to sum this industry column here and we'll lock it and we'll say whenever it's equal to a4. And I'll show you where the a4 is in a moment when we're back on the other slide, on the, on the other sheets. And then this is the range we're going to sum is the is the revenue column we're going to sum that one which is that third argument let's close the brackets there and what it's doing is if i double click it's saying take a look in the industry column of our data set whenever it it equals retail so whenever the column has retail in it then add the value from the revenue column onto my running total and so let add up all of those those revenue numbers so we'll just drag that down to the very bottom there and that's given us the sum of all the revenue for each of those. And then the last, the next step is the count if, again, it's absolutely the same thing, except we just don't have to use the revenue column this time. So we, again, we go to the, the industry column, we're gonna lock it, and we're gonna say whenever the retail column has the word, sorry, whenever the industry column has the word retail in, we'll count that one, and we'll just make a running count there of all of our companies. And now let's just sort this one finally. So we'll come up to data, sort range, has a header row. We'll sort by total revenue from uh, descending and we'll go sort. And so the oil and gas is the largest then financial services and then automotive, etc. Uh, so that's how we would do a summary table using formulas. And you can see it's a little more uh, useful perhaps than just the raw data already. You know, you can say, well, you know, we've learned that the oil and gas sector is the largest one within the world's largest company. So that's already just an interesting fact right there that we would not see from the from the raw data. But as we saw, that was quite involved, quite a lot of formulas to get to there. And you know, if it got any more complex or if I want to change this suddenly, then I have to go through and, and reconfigure all my formulas, which takes a long time. So so let's see how we do it with the pivot table and how much quicker how much quicker that is. So I'll go back to the top of my data set, command A or control A just highlights my entire table there so it goes all the way over to the right there and all the way to the bottom of the data set and I go to data pivot table it just creates that straight away uh, I'm going to add the industry there to the rows and you see it just creates that unique list straight off then uh, in the value section what do I want to what do I want to put against each of these industries and don't worry we're going to explore what all of this means in more detail, this is just to show you first off. So if you've never seen a pivot table, just in, just follow along and enjoy, and then we'll talk about how we actually do all of this in the next lecture. So values, we're gonna do revenue, it's gonna be a sum. We'll add a second field, which we'll just put industry again, and we'll do 
a account A, which just counts the number. And there we go. And that's how quickly it was, it was to create that table. The last thing we might do is just sort this one descending by sum of revenue. Uh, and there we have the same table as we had with the formulas, but it was about a million times quicker. So that's the point. The pivot tables are very, very quick, and then they're very, very flexible at creating these sort of summary statistics from data sets. So they're an enormously useful tool, arguably the most useful thing, uh, the most useful tool or feature of a spreadsheet. So absolutely worth learning and spending some time with. So that's all for this lesson. You saw how easy they are or rather how quick and uh, flexible they are. And we'll be looking at them in depth over the next few lessons. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, folks.